Well, now that we have a 16-sided figure, we'll go to 32-sided. So I'm going to do some gluing this morning. I'm going to glue these strips onto the edge of these seats. Just a little trim. Won't take too long. There's a couple ways I could do it. I could use epoxy. As you can see, this stuff is about as thick as Uh, Vermont maple syrup and it wouldn't really stay on the edges of these seats here very well so normally this stuff is thickened up with something like silica but system 3 has something called gel magic which is already thickened it's about the consistency of Vaseline, and it will stay where it's put. It won't stick the pieces together, but it'll at least stay where it's needed until the piece gets put on. So I'm going to do that this morning. I'll show you how that works. I'm going to use one of these brushes, chip brushes they're called, to spread the glue, but this is too soft. So we always cut these down so they're a little stiffer. Because the glue is pretty stiff. That should work. And we measure the glue out with tongue depressors. So we just use count the scoops. Two of these to one of those. Two resin to one hardener. As you can see, they're two different colors. And they're about the consistency of Vaseline. I usually start with a hardener. I'm thinking I might need more. Okay, there's three there, there's six there. Got my brush, we're all ready to go. The clock is not running until you start mixing. You got about 20 minutes. And of course, these are two different colors. They've got this design so that the colors go away when the mixing's sufficient. You don't want to leave it in a thick pile like I've got it right now because it will go off faster. So you want to kind of spread it out so it doesn't. Now there's a couple things you're trying to accomplish here. One is to wet out each surface. The 
The other thing you're trying to do is fill in any gaps. Now to do that, you'll have to put some excess on there. Now epoxy can structurally fill in gaps, I'd say up to a sixteenth of an inch, go bits beyond that and they're pushing it. So depending on the smoothness of the surfaces you're putting together, is how much excess you're going to have to put on there. So on this surface I'm going to put a little extra, not just wet it out. I can actually see the screw and the screw hole We'll squeeze out. That's what we're looking for. Didn't get any in there, but it's probably enough. Fiberglass cloth looks pretty good. Yeah. 